Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up, IBM's Watson supercomputer takes on a savory new challenge, Neil Young battles back against lo-fi music, and it's man versus machine in the ultimate ping pong challenge. IBM's specialized high-speed computer, known as Watson, is perhaps best known for its ability to smack down human contestants on the game show Jeopardy. But this week at South by Southwest, it's taking on a new challenge, cooking. That's right, IBM apparently couldn't think of putting the nearly AI-level Watson to work on anything pressing, say curing cancer, so it dispatched some food vans to Austin to see how Watson's culinary algorithms measured up. With 35,000 recipes in its cloud-based memory banks, Watson was given free reign to dream up new recipes, and the food was then professionally prepared. So what did Watson make? Fish and chips, with coconut for one. How did the food go over? Well, according to some reviews in the IBM video, pretty darn well. Now, how about you mix me a cocktail, Watson? I'm thirsty. Old school rock god Neil Young has been a critic of the crappy quality of the MP3 since, well, pretty much since the MP3 came around. And now he's doing something about it. Pono, that's Pono as in Hawaiian for righteous, launched a Kickstarter campaign for its music player and online music store yesterday, looking to raise 800 grand. Sound far-fetched? Not really. While we watched a pitch video packed with music legends praising Pono, backing went from $140,000 to almost a quarter million dollars in just 11 minutes. Yeah, we think it's got legs. The triangle-shaped player features a touch screen with swipe navigation and only three buttons. Those involved said the whole venture is based on outputting super high resolution music, not on making the player small or stylish. So how much better is the sound? Well, the highest quality files the Pono can play back contain about 30 times more information than your typical MP3. The difference is considerable. Those who've heard it say it sounds as good or even better than the gold standard of audio, the vinyl record album. So how much will you need to pony up for the Pono? Expect the players to cost $400 when they hit retail shelves, but if you hurry, you might snag one for a $300 pledge. The notion that robots might ultimately take over all the jobs that humans do is long-standing. But it's good to know that, so far, meatbags like us still rule over robots where it counts, at the ping-pong table. Chinese industrial robot maker Kuke taught Model 11-9, which usually drones away in some dingy factory, how to take it to the net, and then dropped it into a pitched battle with top player Timo Boll. How did it go? Well, it was all robot in the early going, according to their video. But after the superior brain of the puny human figured out the robot couldn't handle shots that dribbled over the net or glanced off an edge, Bull notched a come-from-behind victory. Ha! Better luck next time, 11-9. You can't have my job either. That's DT Daily for today. We'll see you next time.